Among all the superheroes wandering the floor of the convention center at this year's Comic-Con was a less conspicuous hero, civil rights champion John Lewis. Hundreds lined up to have him sign copies of his new autobiography, March. So how did a congressman become a comic book author? It began with a young man who was working on the congressman's 2008 re-election campaign. That staffer's name? Andrew Aiden. It was towards the end of the campaign. As things were winding down, folks started to talk about what they were going to do after. And um, Unashamed, I said I would be going to a comic book convention. And there was a little teasing, but Congressman Lewis stood up for me. And I tried to do what I could to put it down and said, you shouldn't laugh. At another time, in another period, there was a comic book called The Montgomery Story, Martin Luther King Jr. and The Montgomery Story that inspired me. That comic book is 15 thin pages of colored newsprint that tells the story of the Montgomery protest sparked by Rosa Parks' 1955 refusal to give up her seat on a public bus. But it also serves as something else, a primer on the nonviolent method. It was a lesson that John Lewis put to use as he and fellow students planned sit-ins at segregated lunch counters in the early 1960s. Congressman John Lewis is an American icon. His his staffer, self-professed fanboy Andrew Aiden, quickly became convinced Lewis should tell his own story as a comic. I, I thought he was somewhat out of his mind. Why would I be writing a comic book? And he, he didn't give up. He didn't give in. He was persistent. And he came back and said, Congressman, let's write a comic book. And, uh, I do remember reading the Montgomery story comic book and I said, yes, if you would do it with me. And it had been a, a, a labor of love. This is the first of three books that will span the congressman's 70 decades, and it begins with stories of a young John Lewis tending chickens on his family farm, trying out sermons on the birds. And he was a, he was a man who is best rendered in four lines or five lines if you can do it. Graphic artist Nate Powell says it is these very human beginnings that give him and the reader the audacity to see from Lewis's perspective. There were certain moments, free of context, where I, feel, I felt like I could simply slip into his shoes for that moment, and I knew precisely what it was like to witness you know, the baptism of these chickens, the loss of a, a beloved hen down a well, um, the hiding under the porch so that he could sneak away from his house in order to get an education each day and hop on the bus with his mom chasing after him. That intimacy is evident in the shadowed, up-close visual perspectives that mark the early parts of the book. But Powell says there were moments where drawing the narrative gave him pause. I will hit a certain milestone within the narrative, uh, whether it's depicting, trying to, trying to find the appropriate uh, and powerful way to respectfully depict the murder of Emmett Till. The book, its creators say, isn't just history. Like the comic book that inspired it, March is meant to be a primer for a new generation on the power of nonviolent protest. That is something co-author Andrew Aiden says was never far from his mind. This may get me in trouble, but I really believe that the generation between the congressman and Nate and I has in some sense failed us. I think they sold out a little bit. And I think we, our generation, needs to pick up a torch again. Too many people, even today, the 21st century, have been left out and left behind. They're black, they're white, they're Latino, they're Asian American, they're Native American. And the book is trying to say that we all must continue to be restless. Lewis says that in the age of Trayvon Martin and the recent Supreme Court decision on voting rights, young people need to find a way to connect to the greater struggle for civil rights. I remember hearing Martin Luther King Jr. preach from time to time, and his father would be in the pulpit, and he would say, son, make it plain, make it plain. So between Nate and Andrew, they made it plain. As plain as a picture.
Sandhya Dirks, KPBS News.